A second straight trip to Texas for Mizzou this weekend. The Tigers beat Texas A&M in College Station last Saturday. A win tonight over Baylor would give Mizzou its first winning streak on the season. The Tigers looking to spoil homecoming weekend in Waco, Texas. Playing the Baylor Bears. Tigers, we get on the board first. Just over eight minutes to play in the first quarter. Henry Josie, six-yard touchdown run. 7-0 Missouri. Baylor coming right back. Robert Griffin the third had a big night, but this was not his best moment. Fumbled the ball into the end zone. Braylon Webb recovers it for the Tigers. But Baylor would tie it up early in the second quarter. Griffin hits Terrence Williams from six yards out. We are tied at seven. Mizzou retakes the lead later in the quarter. Josie in again. He had 132 yards on the night. Missouri up 14 to seven. Fourth and goal for the Bears. Final seconds of the first half. Griffin dives in to make it a one point game. Tigers though block the extra point. It sails wide. Defensive coordinator Dave Steckel like that. 14-13 Missouri at the half, but Baylor took over in the second half. Griffin to Terrence Williams. Touchdown at the two-point conversion. The Bears had their first lead at 21-14. Mizzou driving back late in the third. Michael Agnew makes the catch but fumbles the ball. Baylor picks it up at the 49-yard line. And two plays later, they are in the end zone. Terrence Ganaway, look at the moves, breaks a couple of tackles, running right through that Missouri defense. 38 yards, he's in, it's 28 to 14. Then in the fourth, after a Missouri field goal, Griffin up top to Tevin Reese, look at this. Juggles it and makes the catch. He's in for a 68 yard touchdown. Griffin, 406 yards passing tonight. It was 35-17. Missouri quickly answers, though. James Franklin to Marcus Lucas for the score. Two-point conversion. It's 35-25 with about seven minutes to play. But look what happens on the very next play from scrimmage. Give it to Terrence Ganaway and watch him run. 80 yards for a touchdown. Ganaway had 186 rushing. 42-25 Baylor. The Tigers did make it interesting. Franklin threw a pair of late fourth quarter touchdown passes, one to TJ Moe. This to LaDamian Washington made it a three point game, but Missouri would fall short. Baylor, 697 yards of offense tonight and a 42 39 win. Mizzou drops to four and five on the season. Tigers will be back home next weekend. They'll take on the Texas Longhorns 11 a.m. Next Saturday morning, Texas wins big today, 52-20 over Texas Tech. What a game in Stillwater. Battle of ranked teams, third ranked and unbeaten Oklahoma State, welcoming number 14 Kansas State. A shootout tonight, three minutes to play. Colin Klein runs it in for Kansas State. We're tied at 45. Next Oklahoma State possession, though, Joseph Randall on third and one. He'll get the one and a lot more. A 23-yard touchdown to put OSU back ahead. K-State had a shot on the final play, but this pass is incomplete. Oklahoma State keeps the national title hopes alive, 52-45. They put up over 1,000 yards of offense between them in this one. Oklahoma wins over Texas A&M, but loses star receiver Ryan Broyles for the season. He tore an ACL today. Iowa State, three better than Kansas in Big 12 play. The Westminster Blue Jays wrapping up the 2011 season on the home field, honoring the seniors before today's game against Presentation College. Turnovers, the story in this one. Presentation fumbles this one away. Shane Harris recovers for Westminster. Blue Jays would drive into the red zone, but they throw the interception here. The teams combined for nine turnovers in this game. Westminster would come back and win it 17 to 10. The Blue Jays finished the year with an eight and two record. Lincoln shut out on the road at Truman State. Missouri S&T beats St. Joseph's. Central Methodist comes up short at Southeast Missouri. More sports coming up. Local teams compete for state titles in volleyball and in cross country. We'll show you all the highlights after the break. Welcome back. Another huge crowd turned out at Oak Hills Golf Course today for the annual State Cross Country Championships. A great day for several local schools. Three of them won state titles, including the Rockbridge Bruins' first state championship in school history. Caleb Wilfong took first place in the race, leading three Bruins who won state medals. A championship for Rockbridge Hickman's Devin Sander also earned all state honors. The Lynn Wildcats take the Class 1 Boys Championship. How about this finish? Caleb Wilson and Tyler Rush 
finished first and second. Three Wildcats won state medals as Lynn wins the fifth state title in school history on the boys' side. Bells, Jordan Bossler, a fourth place finish. Vianna's Chandler Harker also medaled in that race. For the second straight year, the Russellville Lady Indians are state champions. Miranda Hill, seventh place finish, led the way. Three Russellville Lady Indians winning state medals. Salisbury was second as a team in Class 1. Class 4 girls, Rockbridge took home second place as a team. Good showing for Jefferson City's Conradette King. She finished fourth individually. Kaylee Ruff of JC took home 14th place and a state medal. Class 2 boys, the Fatima Comets come home in third place. Three state medalists, including Josh Temin, who was 10th. Good run for Brett Voss of Blair Oaks. He was fifth individually. On the girls' side in Class 2, Blair Oaks wins a team title, taking home fourth place. Emily Compton led the Lady Falcons effort with a 13th place effort. In Class 3, Tristan Hensley of Osage, eighth place in the boys' race. Michael McCoy of Helias wins a state medal. He ends up 19th. Caitlin Shea from Helias in the girls' race in Class 3, 14th place. She is a state medalist. Congrats to all of the runners today who competed at the Cross Country Championships. The Fatima Comets played for a state volleyball title today in Cape Girardeau. A great season for the Lady Comets. They fall today to St. Pius X of Festus in straight sets. Fatima, a great year finishing with 33 wins. The runners up in Class 2. College volleyball at the Hearn Center today. Missouri hosting Baylor Tigers in the first set. In the near court, Lisa Henning with the spike. Mizzou wins the opening set 25-22. Baylor won the second set, but Missouri took over after that. Brittany Brimage with the kill. Tigers win the final two sets. They win the match 3-1. Win number 400 in the career of Mizzou coach Wayne Krecklow. A four-game winning streak has the Chiefs tied for first place in the AFC West. KC will go for five straight tomorrow. Noon kickoff at Arrowhead Stadium against the winless Miami Dolphins. We'll show you that game right here on KRCG. The Rams got their first win of the season last week. They'll play the Cardinals in Arizona tomorrow. Both of those teams are one and six. Hockey tonight. The Blues making a trip to the Twin Cities playing the Minnesota Wild. Wild got two in the second period. Danny Heatley scores on the two on one. Two nothing after two periods. The Blues get on the board with just over two minutes to play in the third. Jamie Langenbrunner nets his first goal as a Blue. But St. Louis comes up short, losing it by a final of 2-1. to one. Just three weeks left in the 2011 NASCAR season nationwide series race today at Texas Motor Speedway. Carl Edwards, great effort by the Columbia native, led 157 of the 200 laps. But Trevor Bain passed him with six laps to go off of a restart. Bain gets the victory, his first nationwide win in his career. Denny Hamlin second, Edwards third. Cup race tomorrow at Texas. Greg Biffle on the pole. Carl will start seven. Edwards goes into that race, of course, as the chase leader, just eight points ahead of Tony Stewart. Still three races left. A lot can happen in three races. All right. Thank you, Tony. Mm -hmm. we'll be